Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a lab vlog because there's been a lot of things going on I guess. So last week was my first week back in the lab after the California conference which as you will have seen from the vlogs I was very very excited to be in California and I really really enjoyed the conference. I honestly learned so much, I met so many amazing new people and I hope I can go back in two years time depending on what I'm doing, if I'm still in academia, if I'm in industry, if I'm still doing marine natural products who knows where i'll be but the conference happens every two years and i would love to go back again in two years time so it's currently tuesday yeah i am in the lab i'm going to go home soon but i just thought i'd fill you in on what i've been up to since i've come back to the lab so i'm working on a study at the moment which i can't say too much about but i'm basically finalizing writing up the paper for that so that's keeping me very busy i've also been drying off liters and liters and liters of extract um, of one of the organisms i collected during my obin trip which was last month i think honestly i do not know where this year is going i cannot remember when I did things because everything feels like I did it last week because time is going by so fast. Yes, yeah, so I've been working on drying that extract. It's just a methanol extract, but oh my gosh, because I have liters and liters and I'm using a tiny round bottom flask, it's been taking a very long time. But today I finally got it dried, I got the extract weighed, and now I can start purifying that sample to try and find some cool new compounds. This month and next month I'm doing some demonstrating in the undergraduate labs, which basically means that I'm helping out in the undergraduate labs making sure no one blows anything up make sure the students know what they're doing so that's good fun and that's quite a nice break in between writing and doing my lab work as well yeah so things are just super duper busy i am going to try as best as i can to show you what i'm up to for the rest of the week yeah so let's see what i get up to this week but for today i'm going to the gym and i am heading home good morning guys i hope you can hear me it's currently wednesday and it's nine o'clock, I'm in the lab, and I have to do one thing straight away this morning because timing is everything sometimes uh, with your projects and with your lab work. So I need to prepare some samples in the afternoon, but they're currently in solution, so I need to dry them before I can prepare the samples. So that's why I am in this little noisy room to use the speed vac. This is what we call the speed vac. So basically you put your little Eppendorf tubes in here and it will spin round and round and round and round for a while and it also has temperature as well i think this will go up to about 35 and yeah basically because it's spinning and the tubes are open it just helps the solvent inside of the tube to evaporate so i need to do that so i can recover my sample and i can resuspend them in another solvent <laughs> guys oh look at that golden hour sunlight it's half past five and it's still light outside ah. anyway it's half past five i am finishing up my day i had a meeting from four till five now i'm back in the lab trying to organize some stuff for tomorrow so uh, earlier in the day i got all of my lcms vials cleaned and labeled ready to prepare my samples for the LCMS tomorrow. I also set up the column and did all my calculations um, for running the column tomorrow. I'm not sure if I will get the chance to run the column tomorrow because I need to do some playing about with the sample to see if it dissolves in the solvent that I want to use. So we shall see if it works or not tomorrow, but I'll bring you along on that journey tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to weigh the round bottom flask that I'm going to use to transfer the sample to for the liquid vacuum chromatography column that I'm going to do maybe tomorrow. That sounded really confusing. Basically, I'm going to weigh the round bottom flask because I might use it tomorrow for the chromatography that I was just talking about. We have run out of cork rings, so I'm using the top of a bottle as my cork ring for my round bottom flask. So I'm going to put my fake cork ring on. I'm going to tear it. So it's zero, and then I'm going to take the weight of my round bottom flask. 148.6. So this just means that when I add my sample to here and then I dry my sample inside of the round bottom flask, I know the weight of the round bottom flask already. So when I weigh it again with the sample inside, then technically I can calculate how much sample I've added 
to the round bottom of the flask. It is the next day guys. Last night I ended up staying until 6.30 to dry the aliquot of the sample to use for the VLC, so now I am weighing it and then I'm going to try and dissolve it in the first solvent for the column chromatography. Please excuse the clicking noise, but I ended up having to add silica to dry load the sample because, yeah, it was not dissolving very well in the starting condition, so I am evaporating off the solvent with silica and I'm going to dry load it to the column. Hello my friends, it is the afternoon now. Today has been quite the day. So all of my plans that I had to do the vacuum liquid chromatography of my sample went down the toilet because I had to prepare LCMS samples also and that took ages. And then we, I realized that I did not have enough solvent to prepare all of the solvents that I needed for the column and the store doesn't open back up until two. So then by the time two o'clock came, it was too late because the column was gonna take a couple of hours and I need to leave at five o'clock because I'm going for a test drive for a new car. So my plans have changed. <laughs> So this afternoon I've actually been working on really optimizing the conditions for the columns, so doing various different TLCs. Um, I've also been working on the paper that I said I'm working on and doing other bits and bobs really. So it wasn't as busy an afternoon as it was supposed to be, which in a way is nice. However, tomorrow I am demonstrating in the undergraduate labs, which will take up a good chunk of the day, which means that I can't do the column tomorrow. So now I'm coming in on Saturday to do the column. Not because I need to, but because I want to get this column done and it was my plan to get it done this week. And Saturday is literally the only day, so my boyfriend is offshore at the moment anyway, so I don't really have plans for Saturday. And if it's going to make me feel less stressed, then I am happy to come in on Saturday. However, I do not advocate you coming in and working on the weekends if you don't need to. I usually do not do not take this as a sign that you need to work weekends because that is not the case. Anyway, I'm going to relax for a little while. I'll be leaving at five o'clock. So I'm just going to catch up on emails and do some admin until then. So I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. I got home from test driving the car about seven and I had dinner and I've been on the computer since dinner. Editing this paper because the personal deadline is tomorrow. Yeah, finished off all my bits and now I'm really ready to go to sleep. Speak tomorrow. Good morning guys, look at this blue sky situation. Aberdeen, who are you? Uh, going to the gym, it's half past seven. I ate a lot of chocolate this week, so I'm trying to burn that off. Let's go to the gym and then head to the university. glasses are incredibly wonky. I've just stepped out to have some water. I'm in the undergraduate labs doing some demonstrating and then I'll head back to the lab. So all good. A little bit of a break from lab work today and a little bit of switching off time and get to do some teaching and um, revisit skills that I haven't had to visit in a while. So it's good practice for me as well. So I've just had some water. I'm going to go back into the lab. Mm -hmm. 